prime and composite numbers. Prime numbers and composite numbers are natural numbers. Their factors are natural numbers too. Natural numbers just means the counting numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. No negative numbers and no fractions. All whole numbers greater than 1 can be classified as either prime numbers or composite numbers. Let's start by finding out what a prime number is. We say that a prime number has only two factors, one and itself. And we can also say that a prime number can be evenly divided by only two numbers, one and itself. So we know that the only way to multiply up to a prime number is to say one times the number itself. Let's take an example. The number three. Is it a prime number? To find out, I say to myself, what numbers can be multiplied together to give me three? Well, I can say one three is three or three ones are three. There is no other way to multiply up to three using natural numbers. If you prefer, you can use division. Three divided by one is three or three divided by three is one. I cannot use any other number to divide up three. I can't use two because I get a remainder, one left over. You can see the only factors of three are one and three itself. This makes three a prime number. You can use multiplication or division to help you find prime numbers. It's up to you which you choose, but always write down your math thinking like I did. Your teacher is going to give you some numbers and tell you to decide whether each one is a prime number or a composite number. So first, let's try an example together. Eight. Say to yourself, what numbers can be multiplied together to give me eight? We know one eight is eight, but can we do it without using the factors one or eight? We can use two. Two fours are eight. The factors of eight are two and four, as well as one and eight itself. Eight has more than two factors, so eight cannot be a prime number. If it isn't a prime number, what is it? Have you worked it out already? This program is about prime numbers and composite numbers. If a whole number greater than one is not prime, then it must be composite. Let's give it a definition. A composite number has more than two factors, like we just saw with our example of eight. I think you've got this. My last example is a very special number. Two, the first even number. Is it prime or composite? Say to yourself, what numbers can be multiplied together to give me two? One two is two, or two ones are two? There is no other way to multiply up to two. Two has two factors, one and two itself. So that means two is a prime number. The cool fact I want you to get about two is that two is the only even prime number. Every even number can be divided by two. So any time you are given an even number, you can always say that two is going to be one of the factors. And that means every even number higher than two is always a composite number. Remember, a prime number has exactly two factors, one and the number itself and a composite number has more than two factors. Now it's your turn to practice with prime and composite numbers. Remember to prove your answer by showing your math thinking just like I did. Have fun exploring prime and composite numbers.